together because we're carrying this bass drum, my cymbals and my harmonica <laughs> and then I just haven't found the time to get all the photographs together. So I'm going to give it as good as I can off the top of my head. So the first of all tonight is uh, the season 2013-14 Clubman. And the individual uh, that the chairman has decided to give this award to is someone that is both tenacious on the pitch, he's tenacious off the pitch, and um, over the last few years, I've seen this young man develop uh, into someone that is going to be a stronghold of interest um, of the future. He's put in an insurmountable amount of effort this year behind the scenes, um, which sometimes goes unthanked and unnoticed. Uh, but needless to say, that's not gone unnoticed by a lot of the people within the club that have the chance to influence the chairman's decision on this. Um, he's been a, an absolutely godsend today in helping me arrange some things for the season two. Um, he has put in so much effort in terms of driving forward at the end of this season, the club magazine. Um, he is a busy man, and it goes to the busy, but uh, flying off that carefully. Unfortunately, 
can't be here this evening to receive his award. Um, but the Vets Players Player Award for this season goes to Paul Merritt. So moving on to the uh, A-Team's Players Player of the Year, um, this is a young man who's grown in stature, he's grown in confidence, um, he's grown as a young person. Uh, I remember when he first joined the club, um, he was quite a shy and retiring young guy, um, he's now one of the most outlawed outspoken people on the pitch. He's, uh, he's turned into a true leader, and actually a lot of what he says inspires me when I move on, and um, for a young man, that's exceptional. And I'm pretty sure if he had some of his pre-match team talks and we get that hurdle, he would all think the same. Um, he is absolutely dedicated to this club. He's been doing a hell of a lot of work in the background as well in terms of the fixtures. It was a close run thing, but the eventual winner of this year's uh, A-Team's Players Player was uh, Adam Hutchins. Yeah. Yeah. So Kev, if you would come up and accept it, I'd be happy. Much appreciated. Wow. Now, this is probably the closest run thing we've run to the first team's players player. Um, last year it was a runaway victory. The year before it was a runaway victory. And this year I had to count, recount, and recount again to make sure I got it correct. Um, these two players have um, driven the team forward this year. Um, they have been stalwarts, they've been there through all the cup heartache, all the cup pain. Um, they dedicate a lot of their own time, and bear in mind that the two candidates for this um, are no longer serving, then uh, I think it shows the true dedication of these two players. Um, it came down to actually having to go into the second votes this year um, to determine who was going to win it. Um, they were a joint top goal scorer, mm -hmm. um, but on the vote count alone, um, and it was a, a fight back in, uh, a fight in between you. Um, the eventual first team players player for the 2013 and 14 season is a young man who um, I've seen since he first joined the club as an officer cadet. Um, he's been absolutely exceptional in his dedication to what he does for the club. He's really stepped up to the mark off the pitch this season as well to uh, manage some of the fixtures at very short notice. Um, I've shared a room with Jeremy before. He's full of life, he's full of banter. Apparently, this year you can't get a woman, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but the winner of the 2013 14 season, first team players player, is Dan Tunder. <laughs> I don't really like the work Shane's player, I think he should be one of the top players. 
um, because I want involvement and I want the team managers to get their heads together and uh, put in nominations and decide who they think across the whole club from their teams deserves this award. Um, this guy um, has spent a lot of time and effort um, both on and off the field. Um, he's dedicated his weekends, dedicates his midweek time um, to come and support a Chris football club like we all do. But I think it begins, goes beyond dedication um, when you're no longer a member of the Royal Air Force and you're now left. Um, and the fact that he put so much pressure on and managed to uh, line up God knows how he fudged the accounts and uh, God knows what he did to his line manager to make it happen. Um, but he scored some really important goals this season at really important times, including the Cup final. Um, for me, he is an absolute loss to the Royal Air Force. He's a fantastic young man. And the winner of this year's club of the year is Tom Sutherland.